Hello everybody, my name is Doc Riva and welcome back to episode 73 of our Germany Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 3. Jesus, it's been going on for so long and we've only played 6 years so far. That's crazy. So, um, actually, officially we're halfway through or that would be... It was either... It, the game officially ends at either at the beginning or end of 1948 so <laughs> we could be at only halfway through the timeline but I think we've accomplished most of what we at least have to accomplish but there's still more on the horizon anyway but for now there's of course once again sometimes when you reload the industrial stuff and supplies just drop to like nothing needed suddenly which is weird in itself and then there is, of course, the matter of England. Now, we have quite a few planes around, I must be honest. But I think there's something we can start doing now. So, if we look at the air map mode, wow, we have quite a big range. Don't reach all the way to Scotland, sadly. But there are aircraft there, there, and there. Okay, that sounds very interesting. So, reaching... Which one is this? It's probably some... Yes, we need... And that's the Stukas. I need... Where are my... Yeah, Kishwaters. Why, oh, they don't really have that big of a range now, do they? No. They really need bigger range. Hmm. Anyway, these guys, they can come to... Where is it? Over here. You can rebase to Brest. Doesn't leave that much room, actually. And you guys can rebase to... Um, yeah, here. Now, the Hague. Now, this still leaves the heartland of Germany covered by aircraft, so that's a good thing. Yeah, that's um, preparing for stuff that is to come. Let's at least speed up again. They arrive where they have to be. Big land. Okay, so this one is here now. Um, hmm, that is kind of unfortunate, of course. There's only an HQ here now, is there? I think so, yeah. Huh, that's even weirder. If we can get them there, that might be helpful. When are you there? Oh, quite soon, actually. Um, in less than a day now. Technology-wise, Guerrilla Warfare on the 9th. That's the first one we're getting. Oh, wait. Technology, we need 39. Oh, Radar 3 is... Ah, yes, I placed it there to get it started, but it hasn't officially started just yet. How about you? When are you arriving? Um, Köln, Kochtreich. Okay. Oh, sure thing, Bulgaria. So we have once again a uh, group of aircraft captured. Oh, as well as in Bruges. Panzer Division is now in Paris. Let's see. Oh, that was that one. Oh, wow. Six versus six. That's a dangerous one. Huh. But it appears that we have the upper hand, sort of. Army Division in Bow. Good. Antwerp, Lille, more aircraft. There are so many aircraft now. That's this is getting silly. And these are ours. As long as they don't get into one of those infamous infinite loops again. But now let's have let's start with some fun. So these guys are in Brest. And. Let's start performing some aerial superiority over the channel. Or at least on this side. Just on day and let's do it continuous actually. Air superiority. Does that show different color on the map? Yeah, it actually shows in red instead of green. So the same must be done with um, both, them, uh, both the Hague groups actually. One of you will go this area, air interception. <coughs> No, air superiority, um, consistently, of course, and just by day as well. 
so these guys will only fly during the day and the other group I will actually send out to fly during the night I will fly a little bit different area a little bit well not necessarily smaller but more of the North Sea in this case yeah actually that's actually not that great a region to do and this this is this is good enough so yeah they will do it at night I would really like one more group to be honest I think then these guys are fine for this one as well because their range is like really awesome and because of their location in Cherbourg you'll also be on air superiority during the night continuously on the south there we go and that means these guys well I'm on intercept duty here as well I no oh, wait who's on intercept then oh the multi rolls are interesting and they should be on intercept region for this then I guess yes I'll put these guys on intercept for both on the southwest oh that's a bit too small southwest of England and uh, just daytime just to make sure that they're safe ish so now it's actually green and red ha huh. the battle for Britain commences in January of 1942 now you see my aircraft, they're flying sorties across the country. And the advantage is, of course, their interceptors are not responding, which means that they are broken and cannot really do anything at the moment. So we are now gaining aerial superiority over England. Okay, so these guys are done. That means you can come back to Oslo. You can stick around there. You don't have to move, you will just go there, just in case, and then move, but, oh, that's too low infrastructure as well, huh, so one in Oslo, one in Nigeria, you can one in, really, there as well, wow, I will send you back to Oslo as well then, I don't even mind anymore, and now, we can have our bombers also going ahead, uh, the thing is, though, we have to choose what they do, of course. Actually. Oh, that's actually a good idea, because... Uh, all this, this area. Quite a few aircraft, so naval strikes. Attempt to locate and destroy naval targets. But I'm not sure. I don't think that works on... No, I need to target this. And then this entire region, including Dover. Port strikes continuous at night. Sounds good to me. And that's one bomber. The other bombers. Strategic bombers. Wow, okay. Um, since these guys are strategic bombing at night continuous, that sounds good enough for me. Strategic would be factories, so yes, I see. That's what you're going to do. I actually have strategic bombers. I completely forgot I have them. Grauert, you will also... You will go with the runway cratering in this area. Uh, so that area. Runway cratering just at night. I just need my bombers to fly at night. Uh, these guys will do something similar. In this region you will start to do logistical infrastructure supply dumps no, you're going to do installation just at night I probably have one okay that's the fifth one uh, you will do a smaller area a bit more controlled for ground attacks Oh, that's interesting. Looking for moving units. Ah, you know what, just this area. And I think we can catch aircraft on the ground, yeah. I think runway cratering is fine. Just get that immense lead. 
in aerial combat, just destroying everything they have. Oh, they are also available. Well, that's easy then. Port strikes. Doing it them at night. So you can start destroying some ships. Battle for Britain has officially commenced. This is, is going to cost me a bit of fuel though. Oh, look at this. The wash. They actually send out some fighters this time. Runway cratering in Dover. Sumilina Haradok. Oh my. Wait, what? Bell of Haradok. Oh, okay, they're still going that way. Uh, Sumilina. Oh, they're attacking me simultaneously as I'm attacking them, apparently. Uh, Bristol, Cardiff, strategic bombing has ended. Look at this, Cardiff. Port strike ended, damaging ships in Bristol. Um, strategic bombing in London as well. Look at that. I'm not going to need my V1 soon anymore. And of course we just finished um, Guerrilla Warfare Doctrine. So I'm going to end that and add radar level 3 to the mix. Wow. All this stuff is done on May 6th. I'm going to like me. Already liking January as well, though, by the way. Yeah, they don't have a lot of aircraft in the sky, which is fine. Paris and Nantes. They're back. Okay, I think we have to do something. That's the... Um, stop the pop-ups of air wings returning home, because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Liverpool, strategic bombing for industrial capacity down. Brussels, Paris, Dover, damaging air base. So, and the advantage is, of course, the fact that they are. Oh, look, both battles have been won. The fact that they're only flying at night or at uh, day is actually saving um, organization if they engage. Just instantly, look at all of this. Another 2.2 industrial capacity. Anti-aircraft guns, damaging ships, naval base damaged, airbase anti-aircraft guns, destroyer anti-aircraft armament advance. Ah, that's 1942 everything now. Good. Yeah, I know, I know. I really, really am going to dig getting some more of these things. Um, strategic bombarding tactics, sure thing. How much? June 1st. Wow, that takes way long. Really, my hmm, my air doctrines are way behind. Just fighter doctrines are reasonably... Well, at least air combat experience is helping tremendously. Because the focus itself... Well, the focus itself is only 30%, so the combat experience is helping tremendously. Now that I have some strategic bombers going around, that's actually useful to have. So, yeah, ah, this is perfect, actually, because now I can have the 11th group as well, once they're ready to engage, too. They're in Lille, aren't they? Uh, yeah, there would be this group. Yeah, it will take a few days before they get their organization to a level that I'm happy to send them across the channel as well. I actually have Danish troops in London. Impressive. Anyway, um, production-wise... Because these things are actually so damn useful and working, I'm going to add two more of them. Two more strategic bombers. Go ahead. I know they're not yet in the queue. Am I building any destroyers anyway? No. I'm going to queue up um, 12 destroyers as well, but in a serial of um, 3 times 4. Takes two years to build, but they'll be fine. We need the ships in the long run if we want to accomplish certain goals. Airbase, anti-aircraft guns. Ooh, look at this. Industrial capacity in Liverpool. And damaging ships in Plymouth. Yeah, it's sort of kind of cool actually destroying ships in port or trying to destroy them. Look at that. Um, three destroyers and a carrier. Well, Transport. 
Bombing finished in Liverpool. Not bad. Strategic bombing. Energy production is down. Damaging ships in Bristol again. Yay! So, Zalwachtig Dönitz. No order and waiting on intercept. Well, I'm going to try something because apparently there are not many ships around from the British. For, oh, I know why. The Japanese Navy. So, um, I'm actually going to rebase Dönitz to Antwerp. Salwachter, um, this is a pretty crappy fleet, to be honest. Transport to Stavanger, you can stop, you are going to Calais. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a dangerous move, but they're still patrolling. I mean, there are quite not that many ships. I mean, these guys would have to go through the channel or around first before they could even get close. You should be on intercept duty in this region now. So hopefully with a bit of luck my um, transport ships will make it to Calais. Oh, hello. That's not good. A Sweden lining to the Allies, fine. Plymouth damaging ships, Liverpool more stuff destroyed. And Italy, yes please. Okay, this is scarier than I thought. But they're actually following my... Ah, okay. Huh. Navy has safely arrived. You know what? Um, Get to Wilhelmshaven for now. This is getting a little bit too iffy. Yeah, there we go. Emden. Well, that's Willems have it. That's Emden. And since they are now there, you can safely move to Den Helder. Because they're moving away anyway, so they cannot catch us. Naval base, damaging ships. Liverpool once again. They have a huge energy production in Liverpool. Canuthu. Really, too low infrastructure, and that's why I cannot take it back. That's just silly I'll just say it it's silly but oh well and they're in Den Helder now I think now would be a safe moment to get to Calais and everyone is moving away anyway so it's not going straight through Silver Pit or anything Plymouth naval base and aircraft guns Again in Liverpool, because that's apparently one prime target for them. And we're in Calais. Our transports have arrived in Calais, but we're still going to wait a while. I need more. I need to be able to transport a lot more at once. So I need at least my first batch of troop transports to be done. Where are they? Uh, let's... Oh, here they are. So that's late January. Then they need some organization as well. Naval base damaging ships. So how's it? Oh, we cannot see them right now. It's a shame. Uh, installation strike in Dover. Anti-aircraft guns and the radar station. Anti-aircraft barrel and ammunition advance. Ooh, I love that one. The aircraft barrel and ammunition. So anti-aircraft carriage and sights is next. Oh, we really need to get started on artillery barrel and ammunition as well. March 31st. Oh, that's way up there. Mm -hmm. There we almost are. There we are. So, militia light artillery is 1938 as well. Hmm. I do like the twin engine aircraft armament advances that are coming in. We'll make our uh, tactical bombers a bit stronger again. But, wow, I think I have kind of crippled the Royal Air Force, it seems. They are consistently staying grounded. Oh, here they are. Over for done. Why do we find dive bombers all the way there? 
That's odd ish. Now they're moving. Yeah, they're moving all the way down to Egypt, I guess. Bristol. Dover again. And more in Dover. Just getting those radars out of the way is also very powerful. And ooh, look at this. Italy is actually getting somewhere here. Forces are moving away. Oh, hello. Friedrich der Große. What are you doing there? You are going to start patrolling the Flemish bank and the region around it. Because that's possible. Niebia Gorski. Oh, yes, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Again in Dover. Um, strategic bombing ended in Cardiff. Oh, they actually find a fleet. Strategic bombing in Cardiff. Well, at least it's not Liverpool anymore. Norwich, some fighters. They, ooh, one of them is quite destroyed. And a sea attack versus three destroyers and a... What is that? A heavy? I think it was a heavy. So, ooh, look at this. That is hurting them. And we've almost got... E oh, what? One aircraft. Yes, they lost a heavy, uh, heavy, 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 heavy cruiser. Wow, I'm losing heavy cruiser. Words. Mouth of the Thames. Oh, we are actually destroying transports now. And we're not losing fuel because apparently we have so much fuel. That's insane. Cardiff still working. Dover. Uh, more in Cardiff. Energy goes down a lot more, even. How is the... Ah, they are just low in organization now as well, of course. Um, of course, this is also a possibility. Port strikes continuous at night for you guys. Let's get going. Strategic bombing Cardiff. More in Dover. Really, is that not drain there? Huh. The organization isn't drained that heavily. That's good. It's really good. Of course, our um, air superiority people are actually not losing that much organization at all. Except when they are actually fighting. Liverpool strategic bombing. They got repaired. They repaired some stuff, but nope. Twin engine armament, aircraft armament advance. Range torpedoes coming, airframe. More range is not bad, but I'd rather have range on the fighters at the moment. But then again, that's how long would it take for a jet engine to research now? Eh, still 1944, so that's not happening. Um, large fuel tank for engine airframe. Well, large, large bomb, yeah. I kind of want these now. So, April 21st, then they can be upgraded to integrate large bombs. Well, the first level of the large bomb, so they are stronger to bombard. And their strategic attack goes up. Hello! They're all going to go into Cherbourg, of course. Because that's a good place to have them. And apparently we have quite a few V1s. So let's see, what is... Wait, wait, what? Ah, uh, there it is. Um, strategic bombing. And in this entire area. Or should I do logistical... Hmm. Actually, I'm going to do something different. So, three of you will be logistically bombarding whatever you can find. There we go. Come on, more area, more area. Uh, there we go. And that would, I think it was the first three, so... The others are going to try... Really? Because I hit the channel. Runway Crater! Yay! There we go, let's have some fun with this. See what they can destroy. Oh look, they're over Cardiff now. 
Destroy 20 energy production as well. Hmm. Could be better, but I guess they chose Cardiff of all places in England. Again, fighters attack quite weakened British fighters. One is now completely down to zero strength. And oh, look at this, this destroyer flotilla. And some destroyers are being destroyed. That's irony in a bottle, I guess. Oh, two of them almost completely gone. Oh, Italy, what are you doing? They lost none, but two of them are com almost completely gone. Um, Cags, I will drop you in Wilhelmshaven. Just because I don't need them anywhere else right now. Just one keg, right? Why did I get just one keg? I need more. Oh, Barbarossa. Oh, the eighth keg is also still being constructed. Oh, look. Wait, what? Why are these guys somehow here? Well, we just killed two of their landing craft, so... These guys are doing their job as well. What are you even doing? You're intercepting. Huh. Interesting, you're sticking around here because that's fun, apparently. Anyways, it's about time to end this episode. I'll just let it run to the next day-ish. But apparently we have complete control over England. Look at this. We can even see what's in this... Uh, what's in Dover Airfield. So, three interceptors, three strategics... Not a lot else. Anyway, I want to thank you all for uh, watching. It's uh, always a pleasure. No order. Really, they lose their order now? If they're too long. Three is an order. Two is an order. Five does have order. So, hmm, that's bad. I guess. Huh. Well, that hurts. Anyway, um... Runway cratering, please. Just at night, continuous. Yeah, that's fine. Just making sure these guys have something to do again before I completely forget that they have to do stuff. Port strike, just at night. Let's go. No order, but they just ended it. They just got out of steam. Anyway, again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.